Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Minecraft, starting with the Awakening Block Puppet Master. Chapter 71. The Pig Spirit King gave an order, and the noise beneath the high platform gradually subsided. The Pig Spirit Juniors were in groups of three and five in a row, and their figures were moving quickly. In just one breath, a battle formation appeared in front of the high platform. Then, the piglins all knelt down on one leg, raised the golden axes in their hands above their heads, and shouted loudly and excitedly. Please give me your blessing. We are willing to fight for the pig spirit clan until death. The final slogan was shouted three times in a row. It was deafening and extremely powerful. The whole process was done very neatly and without any sloppiness. The pig spirit king nodded with satisfaction and said happily, Brother Ji Shin, what do you think of the future of our pig spirit clan? Ji Shin was not in a hurry to reply. The light in his eyes flashed across the faces of every pig spirit under the high platform. Since the other party asked him to come over and give some advice, he couldn't just say a few perfunctory words. If the piglin juniors below were regarded as an army, the military style and military appearance just displayed would undoubtedly be excellent. This has been infinitely close to the modern army. It has to be said that the pig spirit king is not only a wise master, but also a brilliant strategist. The existence of a wise leader like the pig spirit king in the pig spirit clan is a great blessing in itself. Luck is like a rainbow and prosperity is coming. Ji Shin didn't mean any compliments, this was what he really thought in his heart. What a lucky person, what a prosperous person. The pig spirit king burst into laughter and said, Brother Ji Shin, when you become famous in the future, don't forget to support our pig spirit clan. Senior, since you are willing to invest in me, I will definitely not let you piglins down. Ji Shin's face was unusually calm. He didn't hide it, but made his words clear. Ha ha ha, it's so boring. Why did you make everything so clear? The piglin king smiled and waved his hand to indicate that the second item could be carried out. After the order was given, the piglin team formed two by two groups and faced each other in a wrestling posture. Just when Ji Shin thought they were going to have a fierce battle, there was a knocking sound of wooden boards from somewhere around him. Immediately afterwards, the junior pig spirits who were very serious just now all showed a mean smile. Under Ji Shin's shocked eyes, they actually beat the drum with their bellies. Hey, dig it thicker, hey yo, dig it thicker. They stood in groups in twos and threes, arms akimbo and shaking shoulders, singing lyrics with special meanings, and some of them started dancing on the spot. Just imagine, the scene of thousands of fat men dancing in front of you is not too eye-catching. The corners of Ji Shin's mouth kept twitching, and he looked sideways at the pig spirit king, his eyes full of disbelief. How come they were a well-disciplined army just a moment ago, and suddenly they turned into ballroom dancers? You piglins know how to contrast so it's not too late for me to take back the compliment I just gave you. The pig spirit king didn't care. He tapped his fingers on the wooden chair to beat the rhythm. He closed his eyes and said with a hint of comfort in his expression. Brother Ji Shin, don't be so formal. The main thing in life is happiness. If dancing can make you happy, you can't deny its value, can you? Ji Shin frowned, savoring the words of the pig spirit king carefully, and was speechless for a moment. What Timo said is so right. Now, looking back at the pig spirit's coquettish dance, it is indeed unique. The pig spirit clan is indeed a magical race. Ji Shin closed his eyes and felt their unique customs, and he was actually a little intoxicated by it. Sometimes living a carefree life is actually a kind of happiness. After a long time, the sound of the belly drum gradually subsided, and the pig spirit team, which had been in chaos just now, returned to calm. The next step will be interesting. The Piglin King chuckled and nodded to begin the last part of the Piglin Coming of Age ceremony, which is also the highlight of today, the martial arts contest. Ji Shin, however, was not interested and did not find anything interesting. These Piglins all held their own weapons in their hands, and some of the larger ones even wore parts of golden armor with enchantments on them. One look and I knew there was going to be a competition at the end. This joust may be a source of fun in the eyes of the Piglin King, since he comes to it once a year. But for the Piglin below, this is an opportunity to quickly stand out from mediocrity. This is undoubtedly a college entrance examination in life. If you pass the exam well, your future career will be smooth sailing. If you don't do well in the exam, go home and farm. 
Some of the pig spirits had fighting spirit in their eyes, while others had sad faces, like students entering the examination room. Ji Shin glanced around and quickly spotted the nervous pig spirit without any armor on his body. He said doubtfully, Your competition is a bit unfair. Look, that pig spirit doesn't even have armor, so what can he use to beat others? The pig spirit king followed Ji Shin's gaze and soon spotted the pig spirit, but after just one glance, he withdrew his gaze and said in a leisurely voice, There is not so much fairness in the world, and family background is also a symbol of strength. If everything is equal, it will demotivate a lot of people. The most important reason why our people are so persistent in making military exploits is to allow their descendants to obtain more resources. Then you're not afraid of missing out on some talents. Ji Shin nodded. This sentence was not wrong, but the disadvantages were too obvious. Indeed, the rules I have formulated may leave out some capable talents, but there is no way around it. There is no perfect system in the world. As the emperor of a clan, the pig spirit king knows this better than anyone else. As the saying goes, you can't have your cake and eat it too, and this is exactly the truth. Do you still remember the pig spirit Awang whose land you gave up? Now you are a noble of their entire clan, and your name will be passed down from generation to generation. Ji Shin laughed twice and did not answer. If you, an old pig, really wanted to give away the land, he would definitely not refuse. While talking, some piglins holding crimson wooden boards quickly built a large arena in the center of the open space. The big arena is surrounded by hundreds of smaller arenas. The rules are also very simple. If you win, you advance to the big ring. If you lose, you exit. Today, my dad specially bought me a set of gold breastplates enchanted with protection too. I can already get a good ranking in the coming of age ceremony competition. HMPH why are you so arrogant? I don't know whether it's your protection I eyes golden breastplate that's more powerful, or my sharpness I eyes golden axe. Piglins with enchanted equipment are still only a minority. Most of them only have an ordinary golden axe, and the poorer ones even have broken axes. Ji Shin turned on the system and looked at these piglins. Most piglins are between level 5 and 9, with a few outstanding ones reaching level 10. Level 9 and level 10 are a very important watershed. Among the piglins, rising from level 9 to level 10 is considered a step up. After successfully stepping up, all attributes will be doubled, especially the attack power, which can directly reach the terrifying 40 points. Coupled with the weapons in hand, it is not easy to reach level 9 from level 10. You must know that in the original game, in the difficult mode, the piglin barbarians only had 19.5 health points. You don't need to think about it to know that this time the martial arts champion must be born from these 10th level pig spirits. Let's start, show your blood, but keep it to the point. Don't maliciously kill the same kind, otherwise you will be expelled from the tribe. The piglin king gave an order, and the piglins began to walk onto the ring in an orderly manner. On the other side, on the cliff of Hell Rock, Wu Nian wandered here alone. The handover of the golden carrot is not that troublesome. He only needs to command the stone puppet to place the box at the designated location, which does not take up much time. Ji Shin used this reason just to get rid of him. Now Ji Shin and the pig spirit king went to attend the coming of age ceremony of the pig spirits. He had nothing to do, so he came here alone to revisit his old place. Taking a deep breath, he closed his eyes and felt the heat around him. When he opened his eyes again, his eyes were full of nostalgia. The red lava of hell is still so charming. I don't know if it was influenced by the withered profession, but he always has a feeling of hometown in the lower world. No matter how beautiful the scenery in the upper world is, he will still miss this burning feeling. Wu Nian walked to the edge of the cliff, bent down and sat down, admiring the beautiful scenery alone. The view from the cliff is very broad, and this place is at the junction of the Piglin clan and the Wither clan. On the left is the endless crimson forest, and on the right is the valley of soul sand filled with wandering souls. But the strange thing is that there is no one guarding this place. The two tribes seem to have made an agreement and regard this as a buffer zone. Of course, there is another special meaning here for Wu Nian. It was here that he was stabbed in the back by the King of Wither and thrown off the cliff. It was also here that he met the most noble person in his life. It's so high here, it must be painful if you fall. I thought I was so loyal in the beginning, but in the end I was shattered to pieces. 
It's not only sad, but also very ridiculous. Wu Nian gritted his teeth. Every time he recalled the past, he couldn't help but curse that he was short-sighted. After saying that, he turned his head and looked in the direction of the Valley of Soul Sand, the anger in his heart constantly surging. Wait, sooner or later I will conquer the Valley of Soul Sand. The pain I have experienced, whether it is in my heart or in my body, will be repaid a thousand times. He is still very weak now, but as long as he doesn't die, he will definitely take revenge. After a long time, Wu Nian gathered his emotions and stood up to leave. Calculating the time, Piglin's coming of age ceremony should be over soon. If Ji Xin cannot be found after he comes out, then his younger brother will be a bit negligent in his duties. Just as he was about to leave, a voice stopped him. Wu Nian, is that you? Oops, got discovered. Wu Nian's hair stood on end, and a chill rushed straight to the back of his neck. This was the voice of a withered skeleton. Now the entire Wither Skeleton clan thinks he is dead. If they learn that Wu Nian is still alive, they will definitely pursue him without sparing any effort. With the character of the King of Withering, he would never leave a hidden danger in the world. Wu Nian, it's really you, and you're actually still alive. The voice of the Withered Skeleton came from the bottom of the cliff again, this time it seemed to bring a little surprise. Wu Nian paused, and his eyes gradually became colder. Since he had been discovered, he might as well just kill him without stopping. The secret that he is still alive must not be exposed, otherwise what will happen next will be very troublesome. Thinking of this, he tightened his fists, withering power surged around him, and jumped directly from the top of the cliff. Just when he was about to make a quick decision, the person in front of him made him stunned on the spot. Withering Shao K, why is it you? Wu Nian's clenched fist suddenly loosened. He did not expect to meet an acquaintance here. During the time he lived in the Wither tribe, he had not all interactions with other Withers. Withering Xiao Kei is Wu Nian's first friend, or in other words, the only friend who treats him sincerely. As a player, Wu Nian is a foreigner in Fang Liang's eyes, and is naturally the target of rejection. Before he showed his powerful Wither potential, Xiao Kei was the only Wither willing to approach him. It is precisely because of this matter that Wither Shao K successfully became an isolated target. It is no exaggeration to say that Shao K at that time was a beam of light in Wu Nian's life, illuminating his whole world. It is worth mentioning that Wither Shao K is still a female skeleton. Now that the other party appeared here, Wu Nian was a little reluctant to take action. When Withered Shao K saw Wu Nian, the skeleton's eyes were full of excitement and he spoke incoherently. You know, when I saw you being thrown off the cliff, my heart was broken. I cried for you all night. Now that you are fine, I am really happy. Why are you here? Why are you the one here? Wu Nian struggled internally, clenching and unclenching his fists constantly, his murderous intention erratic. He really hoped that there were other skeletons standing here, so that he wouldn't feel so guilty when killing. Withering Shao Kei didn't notice anything wrong with Wu Nian at all, and was still talking about his own experience. After the blockade was over, I rushed over immediately, but unfortunately I didn't find your body. I thought I would never see you again. When I was about to leave, I was surprised to find that there was nothing falling on the ground. At that time, I guessed that you might not be dead. Hee <laughs> hee, that's why I come here every day to take a look, no. I guessed it right, you really are not dead. Withering Shao Kei said that he was about to move forward and give Wu Nian a hug. Do not come. The withering power in Wu Nian's hand was condensed, and he forcibly suppressed the murderous intention in his heart, and said in a cold voice. I am no longer a member of the Wither clan. Now I am the enemy of Wither. I remember the friendship from the past. If I don't kill you today, you can leave. As soon as these words came out, Withering Shao Kei stopped and stared blankly at the man in front of him. For a moment, he felt mixed emotions in his heart. Wu Nian, come back with me. Maybe the king was just angry for a moment. After you ask for the king's forgiveness, you can still. What can you do? Don't be naive. Before Shao Kei could finish speaking, Wu Nian interrupted sharply. I have been nothing but a pitiful chess piece from beginning to end. You are the only one in the withering clan who treats me as one of the same kind. The others wish that I would die quickly. You'd better leave quickly, just treat it like I'm begging you. Wu Nian's teeth clenched loudly. He was the most emotional person in his life and couldn't kill Fade Little K. 
Withering Xiaoke was speechless. At this time, she couldn't find any words to comfort Wu Nian, so she could only look at him quietly. How can you persuade others to be kind if you haven't suffered from them? Withering Xiaoke did not try to persuade Wu Nian anymore. After all, being stabbed in the back by his most trusted king was something that no one could bear. Moreover, Wu Nian does not belong to the Withering clan in a strict sense. To blindly let him go back is to kill him in a certain way. How have you been lately? Withering Xiao Kei smiled calmly, since now we can't go back to the past, then cherish the present moment. Wu Nian put away the withering power that overflowed from his body, took a deep breath, turned around and prepared to leave. He didn't want to have anything to do with withering Xiao Kei again. This is not only for his own safety, but also because he does not want wither Xiao Kei to be involved in this hatred and become a victim. I don't have many friends in this world. You are one of them. Go back. Don't come here again. Make good relationships with other people. It doesn't feel good to be isolated. After Wu Nian finished speaking, he turned around and prepared to leave. He knew that letting Xiao Kei go like this would be irresponsible for his own life, but he had no choice. He would rather bear more danger than kill his first friend in this world with his own hands. Don't, don't leave. Just chat for a while. I will keep the fact that you are alive a secret for you. Only then did Wither Xiao Kei react. He added a hint of pleading in his tone and continued. I just want to know more about your current situation. If you really have no place to live, I can help you find a solution together. The lower world is so big that there is always a place for you. Wu Nian paused, a place to stay. No, the lower world is gone, but you don't have to worry, I'm fine now, I met a truly wise monarch. After saying that, he turned his head and looked in the direction of the Crimson Forest, his eyes filled with joy of surviving the disaster. He didn't mention anyone by name, and his meaning was very vague. This was intentional. He could put his own safety at risk, but he couldn't harm Ji Xin who took him in. Monarch, withering Xiao Kei followed Wu Nian's gaze and looked towards the Crimson Forest. The Crimson Forest was the piglin's territory, which made her tie the piglin king to the monarch in Wu Nian's mouth. But it makes sense when you think about it. When Wu Nian was dying, the only one who could save Wu Nian was the pig spirit king. Well, actually this is a good choice. At least you can survive. Withered Xiao Kei sat on a nether rock minding his own business, his tone mixed with some other emotions, just like reminiscing between friends. There is a feud between the Wither and the Piglin, and they are incompatible with each other. But Withering Xiao Kei's eyes didn't have the venom that usually appeared in Withered eyes. She could understand Wu Nian's situation very well, and she didn't feel anything wrong with Wu Nian joining the Pig Spirit Clan. Withered Xiao Kei hesitated for a moment, as if she was struggling with something in her heart, but she finally said it. It is indeed a choice to seek refuge with the piglins, but the piglins may have a disaster recently. You'd better think of other ways out as soon as possible. Disaster. What do you mean? Wu Nian turned around and looked at the nervous Xiao Kei. Withered Xiao Kei clenched his hands, with a hint of uncertainty in his tone. I also heard by accident that the Wither King is planning to launch a war to kill the piglins recently. You'd better be prepared in advance. Kill the pig spirit clan. Ha ha, what a big statement. Wu Nian didn't take this sentence seriously. He had lived in the lower world for a period of time, and he still had some understanding of the situation in the lower world. The piglins and the Wither each occupy half of the lower world. The two races have been fighting for thousands of years without a winner. A mere war is like massacre of the entire piglin clan, which is simply fantastic. Actually, I'm not sure. I also heard this news by accident. I heard they said that in this battle, we, the Withered clan, have an 80% chance of winning. Wither Xiao Kei's voice became smaller and smaller. Now Wu Nian belonged to the pig spirit clan. She said this to the other party, which was considered a betrayal of the Wither clan. 80%. Wu Nian frowned. This probability ratio between the two races was already a one-sided massacre. Okay, I understand, please pay attention to your own safety and live well. After Wu Nian finished speaking, his figure flashed quickly and appeared several meters away in the blink of an eye. We are not the same people, so it would be good for both of them to separate as soon as possible. Withered Xiao Kei quickly stood up. She instinctively wanted to catch up, but she still stopped and prayed silently in her heart. You have to live well too. 
comma, Ji Shin couldn't help but yawn as he looked at the pig spirits fighting in the ring below. It's so boring and completely uninteresting. The fighting methods of piglins are very similar. You hit me with an axe, and I hit you with an axe. There is no technical content at all. It all depends on who has more meat and who has thicker blood. The piglin king seemed very willing to watch this kind of chaos, and kept laughing and being dumbfounded. What? Brother Ji Shin is not interested in this. Do you want to hear the truth or a lie? Ji Shin was speechless. Isn't the answer written all over his face? The piglin king didn't care. He pointed at a junior piglin who hadn't played yet and said, If you give some pointers to this piglin, what is the probability that the other party will get first place? Ji Shin turned on the system and looked in the direction of the pig spirit king's finger, and a ninth level pig spirit came into view. This pig spirit is not weak, and it also wears a golden breastplate, but it is somewhat difficult to win the championship. It's difficult. There's no 1% chance. Don't be so pessimistic, okay? You have also seen that our piglin's fighting method is very simple. If you teach the opponent two moves to deal with it, the probability of winning the championship can be increased by at least 10 percentage points. 10%. Ji Shin suddenly seemed to think of his own enchantment, and a bewildered smile appeared on his lips. I take back what I just said. If I go up and give some advice to the opponent, the opponent's winning rate of winning the championship can be increased to 80%. Do you believe it? 80%. That's an exaggeration. This junior doesn't seem to have completed a step up yet. How can he beat those who have done so after a step up? The piglin king obviously didn't believe it, and he was already exhausted by 10 percentage points. Facts speak louder than words. Ji Shin is idle anyway, so he might as well have some fun. How about you assign him a level 10 pig spirit for the next game, and I'll give him some pointers and see how he performs. So confident, don't overturn it then. The pig spirit king raised his eyebrows, his desire to win was aroused. Don't worry, I won't fight a battle that I'm not sure about. Ji Shin jumped off the high platform alone. The moment he landed, the obsidian puppet disappeared in a flash. The steel properties directly helped him become immune to all fall damage. The pig spirit king's narrowed eyes suddenly opened, and his heart skipped a beat. The figure of the obsidian puppet disappeared in a flash, but as a demigod, he still saw it. Is that an iron puppet? No, the aura has changed. It's more like an obsidian puppet than an iron puppet. It's so strong. The pig spirit king clicked his tongue and kept recalling the scene just now. The obsidian puppet is twice as big as the steel puppet, and its murderous aura is stronger. The most unique thing is the monster's head. If you look closely, it no longer looks like the original puppet. Instead, it looks like a new monster. Ji Shin had shown this skill before when he helped the pig spirit clan defeat Wu Yen. The pig spirit king naturally knew that Ji Shin had the ability to control puppets. But in just a few days, the other party was able to train the puppet to this level. This growth rate can no longer be described as genius. If the piglin king could easily crush Ji Shin to death before, he might have to work harder to crush him to death now. Your boy is growing up so fast. The pig spirit king took a deep breath, feeling a little sad in his heart. I think he was once a genius boy of the pig spirit clan. He spent most of his life reaching the demigod realm and became a powerful person under the gods. But his brilliance was somewhat insufficient in front of Ji Shin. If the other party continues to grow at this rate, within five years, or even less, the realm of demigod will be at your fingertips. The pig spirit king waved his hand and motioned for the officer in charge to come over. The officer in charge understood and said respectfully, King, what are your orders? From now on, Ji Shin can enjoy the rights of a big landowner in our pig spirit clan. No one is allowed to offend him. Anyone who disobeys the order will be killed. Big. Dot big landowner status. The officer in charge was astonished. He had never seen a foreigner enjoy the treatment of a big landowner among the pig spirit clan since ancient times. The pig spirit king glanced sideways at the officer in charge and said in a cold voice, What? Do I have to repeat it to you a second time? No need. As soon as the officer in charge said it, he felt something was wrong and quickly said, No, 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 my subordinates will inform you immediately. He did not have the foresight of the pig spirit king, so he naturally did not understand the purpose of this move. 
Ji Shin didn't know that he just missed the obsidian puppet. His status was already a big landowner in the pig spirit clan. All the piglins were cheering for their peers on the ring, and Ji Shin's movements were very careful, so not many piglins noticed him at all. Ji Shin quietly touched the target pig spirit and said in a leisurely voice, Brother. What's your name? The pig spirit is worry-free, snoring. The pig spirit did not look back and stared at the other pig spirit, which was obviously his next opponent. Ji Shin turned on the system and looked at the pig spirit. The level was the same as the pig spirit Wu Yu, which was level 9. He smiled slightly, Brother Wu Yu, stop looking, your next opponent is not him. It's not him. How do you know? The pig spirit Wu Yu frowned and looked to the side in surprise. When he saw that the person next to him was Ji Shin, the whole pig was stunned, and then he quickly saluted and said, Pigling Wu Yu has seen Lord Ji. Shish, keep your voice down. Ji Shin was a little surprised. He didn't expect to be so popular. The pig spirit Wu Yu nodded and said with some excitement in his voice. The battle you helped us piglins fight the BL asterisk CKM asterisk N was so exciting. Now many pigs regard you as a role model, snore. Piglin Wu Yu's location was very remote, and the conversation between the two of them did not attract too many people's attention in the noisy competition ground. Ji Shin followed the words and continued, That pig spirit is your next opponent, right? Do you have the confidence to defeat him? Piglin Wu Yu shook his head and said uncertainly, Although we are at the same level, the opponent is obviously a little bigger than me, so the probability of winning is not high. Hey, Lord Ji, you said you would give me another opponent. Is this true? The pig spirit Wu Yu suddenly remembered Ji Shin's last words, and his heart beat wildly. The news that Ji Shin ceded land to the pig spirit Awang some time ago has gone viral. How can this be a foreigner? This is simply the father of the benefactor. Now people of the same generation as the pig spirit Awang are crazy with envy. Are you going to be lucky today? Ji Shin nodded confidently and said, yes. I asked the pig spirit king to change you to a level 10 pig spirit, which is a pig spirit that steps up once. Ah, the pig spirit Wu Yu suspected that he heard wrongly and opened his mouth half open, Lord Ji, are you mistaken? How can I beat those level 10s at my current level? He was a little suspicious of Zhu Sheng now. What kind of financial sponsor father was he? This was clearly the living king of hell. Why are you in a hurry? I haven't finished speaking yet. Ji Shin stretched out his hand and motioned for the other party to come closer and elaborate. Piglin Wu Yu was dubious, with a hint of vigilance in his eyes. Do you believe me? Logically speaking, you should believe me, but... Piglin Wu Yu replied. The pig spirit Wu Yu didn't say the rest, but Ji Shin also understood that it was just that what he did was too unreasonable. If it were Wu Yu, he would have scolded his mother by now. Ji Shin looked like a master, don't worry, I can't trick you. I'll teach you a thing or two. As long as you use it properly, it's easy to become a martial arts champion. When the pig spirit Wu Yu heard this, he was very happy, and his doubtful eyes disappeared immediately. I think back then, Ji Shin relied on a block attack to perfectly crush withering illusion, which was specialized in restraining brute force attacks. That highlight moment is still talked about by people today. If he gets some real information from the opponent, he might really be able to win today's martial arts champion. Everyone listens to Lord Ji. Just when the pig spirit Ah Wang thought that the other party was going to teach him some martial arts secrets, Ji Shin actually reached out and snatched the golden axe from his hand. Lord Ji, this is. Before the pig spirit Ah Wang could finish his words, Ji Shin saw a section of purple light condensing in his hand, and then he pressed the golden axe fiercely. The next moment, the system's voice rang. Open black lens bracket ding. Enchanting completed. Golden axe 1, sharpness V, durability 3, fire additional 2, knockback 2, sweeping blade 3, looting 3, leading thunder I, loyalty 3, efficiency V, penetration IV, power V. Ji Shin's attunement enchantment is very buggy. Not only can he break away from the restrictions of the enchantment table and anvil, he can directly enchant items. He can also force enchantments that are incompatible with the item onto the item. For example, it can only be enchanted to attract lightning on a trident. Now this golden axe can still use the thunder and lightning effect of the trident on rainy days. Moreover, the golden axe with the triple blessing of sharpness, power and sweeping blade will ask you if you are afraid of it. 
Ji Shin hooked up his fingers and motioned for the other party to take off his breastplate, so that he could give him pointers. The pig spirit Wu Yu looked at this scene blankly, and for a moment he forgot what to do. The originally ordinary golden axe seemed to have opened up the Rendu and Du's two channels, and a dark purple color filled the air and instantly enveloped the axe. If you feel it carefully, there is a unique sense of oppression in it. Is this, possessed? The pig spirit Wu Yu said in surprise. He felt that his entire Zhusheng worldview had been impacted. Doesn't it require an enchanting table or an anvil to enchant an item? What the hell is this about enchanting with bare hands? In the real world, enchantment is a very complex and difficult matter. Diamonds are rare, and enchantment tables that require two diamonds to be synthesized are even rarer. Even after you get the enchantment table, you still need to have excellent level and strength. After each enchantment, the enchanter will enter a special weak state, his own realm will decline, and he will not be able to enchant continuously. This makes enchanted items very rare here. Most piglins who can afford enchanted items start out as small landowners. The commoner piglins don't even have to think about it. But Ji Shin doesn't have to worry about this. With the experience saturation buff of the diamond puppet in the shadow, the price he has to pay is just a little hunger point. Ji Shin had no intention of explaining to the pig spirit Wu Yu. He picked up the axe in his hand, looked around, and said in a cold voice. Time is limited. If you don't take off your gold breastplate, then I will leave. The pig spirit Wu Yu realized this later and quickly took off his golden breastplate and threw it to Ji Shin. There was a hint of flattery in his voice. Everyone listens to Lord Ji. Hee <laughs> hee. Because enchanted weapons are rare, even the lowest sharpness eye golden axe can be sold for a good price. For him, the ranking in this competition is no longer important. He can buy two enchanted items for free, which can only be said to be a sure profit without losing any money. Ji Shin glanced sideways at the pig spirit Wu Yu, and saw right through the other person's little thoughts. You're a good boy. Don't worry, I won't cheat you. These two enchanted items are my gifts to you. Do your best in the next competition. Thank you Lord Ji. The pig spirit Wu Yu was so happy that he snored and rubbed against Ji Shin's body. Stop, stop, stop. Stop your saliva. Ji Shin took a step to the right in disgust, withdrew his gaze, his fingertips were surrounded by purple light, and he pointed directly at the golden breastplate. The next moment, the system's voice sounded again. Open black lens bracket ding. Enchantment successful. Gold breastplate one. Explosion protection IV, fall protection IV, fire protection IV, projectile protection IV, protection IV, durability 3, thorns 3, knockback 2, strength V, sharpness V, impact 2, flame addition 2. Ji Shin raised the corners of his mouth, looked at his masterpiece with great satisfaction, turned to the pig spirit Wu Yu and said, I'm looking forward to your performance on the court. Lord Ji, I won't let you down. The pig spirit Wu Yu rubbed his hands, staring directly at the two items in Ji Shin's hands. Although he said this, he had secretly made up his mind to surrender immediately if he couldn't beat him on stage. If his opponent destroyed his equipment, it would be more of a loss than a gain. Ji Shin raised his hand and threw the two pieces of equipment to the other party. Without saying anything else, he turned around and walked towards the high platform again. With these two pieces of equipment, even a level 9 real pig can probably chase down a level 10 pig spirit. Piglin Wu Yu took the equipment and couldn't wait to check the axe. He wanted to see whether Lord Ji had enchanted him with sharpness I or durability 2. Sharp V, ha. Endurance 3, ha. Fire addition 2, knockback 2, sweeping blade 3, snatch 3, thunder I, loyalty 3, efficiency V, penetration IV, strength versus. Ah, the pig spirit Wu Yu screamed, attracting side glances from the surrounding pig spirits. Ji Shin ignored the crazy pig spirit Wu Yu and returned to the high platform to sit down. You finished giving instructions so quickly. What did you say to the pig spirit Wu Yu? Why did he become so crazy? The piglin king scratched his head. Due to the direction problem, he did not see Ji Shin enchanting the opponent. It's okay. It's just a simple pointer. Maybe I have understood some ultimate secret. Ji Shin smiled confidently and did not explain more. The pig spirit king was dubious and said with some uncertainty. Okay, then let me arrange for a junior pig spirit of level 10 to have a try with him. Hurry up, I can't wait any longer. 
since Ji Xin unlocked this enchantment skill, he has not used it in actual combat. This game is the first time and has great reference value. The pig spirit king gave a look, and the officer in charge understood on the spot, cleared his throat, suppressed the noisy competition sound, and said. Everyone, please be quiet. Wong, we have selected a game today and all other games are suspended. As soon as these words came out, all the pig spirits were stunned, followed by loud cheers. In their view, the words of the pig spirit king were an imperial edict. Even if today's coming-of-age ceremony was cancelled on the spot, these pig spirits would not have any objection. The game designated by the king will definitely be a strong showdown. You can't miss it. Hurry up and grab a spot, you won't be able to get a seat later. Can you help me take off the axe from my body before I leave? Ji Shin was a little surprised. He originally wanted to watch a game quietly and record the game data. Unexpectedly, the pig spirit king came directly and said, let's share the good things together. The pig spirit king smiled and said, I am quite amused, I stopped the entire competition just for you. Ji Shin was speechless and laughed dryly without replying. The pig spirit king's appeal was undoubtedly huge. In just a few breaths, the central arena was already filled with people. Following the order from the officer in charge, a muscular pig spirit with level 10 coercion walked onto the stage. Look, that's the pig spirit aide who has completed a step. He is the junior pig spirit who has the best chance of winning the first place this time. Let me tell you, it must be a strong showdown. Can you guess which level 10 player his opponent is? Pigling Ling Shuang, he seems to have broken through level 10 recently, but there is a high probability that he can't beat Piglin Aid. After all, he has broken through for more than a month. The pig spirits in front of the stage were discussing each other, each talking about his own thoughts. It is normal for people of the same level to compete against each other, but what they never expected was that the person participating in this competition would be the pig spirit Wu Yu, who was not even prominent in the ninth level. The pig spirit Wu Yu, who was holding the enchanted equipment at the side, was trembling all over, and big beads of sweat were oozing out from his forehead. He was not afraid, but excited, so excited that he was trembling. He suddenly turned his head and stared straight at the graceful pig spirit aide on the stage, the madness in his eyes getting more intense. I never thought, I, the pig spirit Wu Yu, can also be the protagonist one day. Thank you Lord G for the opportunity. Thank you Lord G for the opportunity. In the end, he couldn't help laughing. It felt like you, the mediocre person in the class, suddenly got the standard answer before the exam. Directly punching the academic god and kicking the academic master, even if it was only a temporary peak, this made the pig spirit Wu Yu feel unparalleled pleasure. Brother, make way, ah, the pig spirit Wu Yu screamed and was squeezed out by the surging crowd for the nth time. He stood up again, his whole body numb. No one listens to my shouts, and I can't get in even if I try hard to squeeze in. It took a lot of effort to highlight it, but as a result, he, the protagonist, couldn't appear. The officer in charge was shouting almost hoarsely on the stage, please invite the pig spirit Wu Yu to the stage. Is the pig spirit Wu Yu here? Come on the stage. Ahem. The pig spirits in the audience looked confused. You looked at me and I looked at you, the doubts in their eyes became even more intense. Who is the pig spirit Wu Yu? Is he also a level 10 pig spirit? I don't know, I don't know him. He is probably a newly rising descendant of which family? This pig spirit Wu Yu has such a big frame. He actually left the pig spirit aid hanging here. He will definitely be beaten badly later. The talent of the pig spirit Wu Yu is not bad, but it is not top notch, just average, so not many pigs know Wu Yu. Ji Shin couldn't stand it any longer on the high platform, and with Wu Yu's brain, he couldn't even grasp the highlight once. Puppet number one, go help him. As soon as he finished speaking, a black shadow swam towards the pig spirit Wu Yu at an extremely fast speed. Just when the pig spirit Wu Yu was about to try to squeeze in again, he suddenly felt a cold feeling on his back. Looking back, an obsidian monster suddenly appeared behind him. The next moment, the obsidian puppet lifted him high and threw him directly towards the ring. The obsidian puppet is equipped with knockback 2 and impact 2. With this move, the pig spirit Wu Yu felt what it meant to fly freely. Boom! On the stage, there was a loud noise. A pig fell from the sky and hit the ground face first, 
losing five points of blood before the fight started. The fall protection IV and protection IV on the chest armor are superimposed on each other, directly blocking 80% of the fall damage for him. Otherwise, with the obsidian puppet thrown away, the pig spirit Wu Yu would not have to compete anymore and would have to withdraw. All the piglins around the ring were silent. What was this thing that came up in a swish? How did he get up here? Snoring. It seems to have flown up. Opponent Aid was also shocked. This way of appearing was really rare. Only five points of blood were lost. How is this possible? Could it be the breastplate on his body? The pig spirit king saw the problem at a glance. That's not right, the breastplate cannot be enchanted with fall protection. P.S. In the game, fall protection can only be enchanted on shoes. He turned to look at Ji Shin, his eyes full of begging for information. Senior, you'll find out later. Ji Shin didn't want to reveal the mystery so quickly, so he kept it a secret. The Piglin King had no choice but to continue watching the game. The Pig Spirit Wu Yu stood up again. He turned to look at Ji Shin and the Pig Spirit King on the high platform and smiled awkwardly. When the officer in charge saw that everyone had arrived, he cleared his hoarse voice and said, I declare that this game has officially begun. Aid, one step, level 10. Please advise. This competition was appointed by the Piglin King, so you must pay attention to the etiquette before the competition. The pig spirit Wu Yu followed suit and replied, Wu Yu, level 9, please give me some advice. Only level 9. When Wu Yu's 9th level exited, all the piglins, including Aid, were in an uproar. There is a clear dividing line between level 9 and level 10. A level 10 piglin can fight three level 9 piglins without falling behind. This is the difference. I really don't understand why the king wants me to give you a fight. The pig spirit aid was helpless, always feeling a little looked down upon. You'll know, the pig spirit Wu Yu didn't talk nonsense. The golden axe in his hand flashed with cold light, and the next moment it appeared above Aid's head. Aid is not a vegetarian either. At the same time, an enchanted golden axe appeared in his hand, and the horizontal axe blocked it. Scandium, the sound of metal chiming sounded. How can this be? Aid felt a huge pressure in his hand. The axe he thought he could easily block was unexpectedly suppressed. Wu Yu chuckled and used strength in his arms again. Under the double superposition of sharpness V and strength V in terms of strength alone, the 9th level Wu Yu can actually overpower the 10th level Aid. Aid roared angrily, his whole body's fighting power exploded, and he pushed back the golden axe again. Wu Yu staggered two steps, shocked in his heart, level 10 is indeed level 10. Without the blessing of equipment, I have no chance of winning. When everyone in the audience saw this scene, they all became excited and cheered one after another. Aid took two heavy breaths, and his expression gradually became serious. Just before he could figure out what was wrong, there was a loud bang and flames ignited on his body. Fire additional. How is this possible? The pig spirit king jumped up and looked at Ji Shin with shock in his eyes. How did you attach the flame to the axe? Ji Shin stopped talking in circles and replied. Logically speaking, the flame enchantment can only appear on the sword, but this restriction is invalid for me. As he spoke, he randomly picked out a rock from the surroundings, flashed purple light in his hand, and added flames to it. My new ability, enlightenment and enchantment, ignores all enchantment rules and does whatever you want. He held the hell rock and touched the piglin king lightly. Coax. The flames spread quickly and directly enveloped the entire body of the pig spirit king, which looked extremely spectacular. Although it looked spectacular, it did not cause any harm to the piglin king in the demigod realm. So that's it. It's the power of the godhead again. You players are really the darlings of god. You have all kinds of incredible abilities. Ji Shin smiled and said nothing. In fact, ordinary players are not much better than ordinary pig spirits. The reason why he has such powerful divine power is entirely due to his SSS level profession. The perspective moves to the arena again. Piglin Aid was no less surprised than Piglin King. He was also a smart pig and immediately realized that there was something wrong with the opponent's weapon. No wonder the king asked me to compete with you. It turns out you have such powerful equipment. Aid took a deep breath and started to face his opponent again. The pig spirit Wu Yu said, holding the axe tightly in his hand and not daring to relax for a moment. I really can't compare to you in terms of individual strength, 
but I am luckier than you and have been given a wave of opportunities, so you are destined not to win this battle from the beginning. HMPH. Rampant. How will you know if you don't try? Aid was furious, dodged, and faced the difficulty with the damage of the flames. This time his goal is very clear, that is, to remove the opponent's axe. Wu Yu hurriedly accepted the challenge, but his reaction speed was far unable to keep up with the 10th level aid. The opponent's sudden and clever move actually removed his axe. No matter how good the equipment is, it's useless if you can't control it. Aid used another force and directly knocked Wu Yu's axe away from the ground before it hit the ground, and stuck it heavily into the tree opposite. Ji Shin couldn't help but nod when he saw this scene. I have to admit that Aid beats Wu Yu by a large margin in both talent and combat skills. If Wu Yu hadn't been blessed with equipment, he would have been defeated within two rounds. If Piglin Wu Yu had only one axe, Aid would indeed have a chance of winning, but the victory has been decided. Aid swung his axe and struck the weaponless Wu Yu as the final blow. Wu Yu looked at the axe that was enlarging in front of his eyes, and an intriguing smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. I said, you have already lost from the beginning. Wu Yu leaned sideways, and Aid's axe hit his golden breastplate hard. The next moment, the thorns on the breastplate, three, trigger. The rebound damage was returned to Adelaide again after being strengthened by the additional layers of knockback, strength, sharpness, impact, and fire on the chest armor. Wow Sao, we still have a backup plan. Aid's pupils shrank to an extremely small size, and the powerful impact caused him to fly backwards and rush out of the field far away. After landing, blood spurted out from his mouth, and his health bar plummeted. Piglin Wu Yu's face was unusually calm. Because of the protection of his armor, he did not suffer much damage. Instead, Aid got a huge rebound from his face and was seriously injured and dying. He raised his hand and called, and the golden axe that had just collapsed returned to his hand due to the enchantment of loyalty. 3. The victory has been decided. The pig spirit aid looked a little dazed and looked at his chest tremblingly. There was a scar that was deep enough to show the bone, and blood was still flowing from the crack. The knife he just struck clearly hit the pig spirit Wu Yu, but it was like hitting cotton. Most of the force was dissipated by an unknown force and disappeared. Then, the injured person becomes himself. Looking up, the pig spirit Wu Yu waved the golden axe on his hand, not looking injured at all. How is this possible? How on earth did you defeat me? Fear gradually appeared on the face of the pig spirit aid. Although he felt the danger at that moment, he did not see clearly how the other party acted. The surrounding pig spirits were also stunned. They originally thought that the pig spirit Wu Yu would be killed by one move. But it was the level 10 pig spirit aid who flew backwards. Actor, this is how you play, okay, okay. Snort. You're acting like shit, who would jeopardize the competition designated by Wang Chin? You're going to die, Hulu. Then tell me, why is level 10 aid unable to beat level 9 Wu Yu? The two pig spirits started quarreling on the spot and expressed their opinions. Stop arguing. An older pig spirit stretched out his hand and pushed the two junior pig spirits away, saying in a leisurely voice. It's a thorn. And it's the top thorn, 3. It seemed that Aid had hit Wu Yu just now, but after the blow was transformed by the thorns, all the damage was done to Aid himself. On the contrary, Wu Yu, who was protected by armor, did not suffer much damage. The two junior piglins looked at the older piglin with doubts in their eyes. They were not fools. Even the piglins knew what the enchanted thorns did. We both have little education, so don't lie to me. No matter how powerful the thorns are, they can't rebound all the damage. That's right, just make up lies and start talking. The elder pig spirit's face turned red, his expert demeanor suddenly disappeared, and he couldn't help but cough repeatedly. In fact, as these two junior piglins said, the rebound damage of thorns 3 can only reflect a small part of the damage. With one move, the 10th level pig spirit aid was rebounded like this, which he had never seen before in his long life. But what he was sure of was that the last blow suffered by the pig spirit aid was the damage caused by the reflection of the thorns on the equipment. Ahem, after all, I am a few years older than you. This should be thorn plath. Otherwise, do you have a more reasonable explanation? The older piglin wanted to save some face and made up a lie on the spot. A person's knowledge is limited, and they will naturally only guess the answer in their own knowledge, and the same is true for piglins. 
Even if they were beaten to death, they would not have thought that the thorns that bounced back just now were blessed by strength enchantment, sharpness enchantment, knockback enchantment, and flame enchantment. How can the damage be compared to the rebound damage of ordinary thorns? The two junior pig spirits looked at each other, and it seemed to make sense. The pig spirit Wu Yu put away his equipment, jumped off the ring and helped aid up. His face did not show the joy of a winner, but the calm after the madness. He is not so naive as to think that after possessing these two pieces of equipment, he can openly mock those who are stronger than him. You don't need to care too much about winning or losing in this game. Normally, I would only get beaten. Don't worry, you are much better than me. I am just lucky to beat you. With that said, Wu Yu retaliated and extinguished the flames on the opponent's body. Abe's eyes flickered, and he finally sighed, smiled, and said, I lost. Sometimes luck is also part of strength. Now let me introduce myself again, Piglin Aid, nice to meet you. On the high platform, the Piglin King's fat body stood up again. The pupils in his eyes shrank to a very small size, and his mind kept recalling the moment when the pig spirit Aid was knocked away. Finally, he locked some related enchantments in his mind and said, can the damage reflected by thorns also be blessed by strength v sharpness v these damage increasing enchantments isn't this something obvious not only that the rebound damage will also trigger the flame attachment and knock back on the armor ji shin added with a smile he was not surprised that the piglin king could guess it after all he had told the other party the principle of his ability as a wise man of the piglin tribe there was a problem if the other party couldn't guess it this game is not just for fun, many of the scenes are good reference data for Ji Shin. Especially the loyalty 3 enchantment is surprisingly effective. If used properly, some melee weapons can be thrown. Melee combat becomes long-range combat, and the combat effectiveness is not improved at all. After a long time, the Piglin King spoke again, what price do you have to pay for using this kind of enchantment? The price, N, is a bit high. Ji Shin picked up 10 golden carrots from his backpack and put them into his mouth, and the hunger level in his body quickly returned to full. Sure enough, the price behind powerful abilities is also huge. Otherwise, the pig spirit king did not understand the meaning of Ji Shin's actions and shook his head with regret. Ji Shin's eyes narrowed, and after hearing the pig spirit king's words, a little calculation began to take place in his heart. Just think with your toes and you will know what the other person wants to say next. It's just that he wants to make enchanted equipment for the other party, and then the other party will use these equipment to increase the fighting power of the piglins and then unify the lower world. The most powerful thing about the ability of enchantment is its permanent existence. As long as the equipment is durable enough, the enchantment above can be used forever. If this ability is extended to the equipment of the entire pig spirit family, the world in the lower world will really change. A brand new idea suddenly came to Ji Shin's mind. Can he use this condition to exchange something with the other party? Like netherite shards, thinking of this, he quickly took over and said, what else? The pig spirit king sat back down and said with some longing and regret in his voice. Otherwise, our pig spirit clan will be blessed. Unifying the lower world is not a dream. Oh, that's it, no problem, I can help you. Ji Shin pretended to suddenly understand and continued. You sure, as long as you open Chrysostom, we can talk in detail now. A big deal is coming. As long as the price is good, Ji Shin will definitely get a lot of benefits. No matter how much of this kind of mutually beneficial good thing comes to him, he will not dislike it. The pig spirit king stared straight at Ji Shin with disbelief on his face. If I'm not wrong, it should be your realm that is sacrificed for this point of enchantment. I've never heard of anyone willing to make fun of their own realm. Indeed, the price you have to pay for enchanting equipment is experience, but how do you know that I don't have a solution? With that said, Ji Shin waved his hand, and the diamond puppet's experience saturation buff was applied to the piglin king on the spot saturated with experience this the pig spirit king clenched his fists and then began to burn his realm when he saw that his realm had not declined he became uneasy monster you are a monster how can there be someone like you in the world it's unreasonable i'll take these words as you complimenting me ji shin's mouth twitched and he replied speechlessly 
The pig spirit king purred and immediately realized that his words were a bit rude, so he smiled to cover up his embarrassment. Let's go. There's nothing interesting about this adultery ceremony. Go back to my bedroom and let's talk in detail, ha ha ha. Ugly face. Ji Shin scorned in his heart. Just now he said it was an interesting game, but now he said it was not good looking. What a fickle pig. Seeing that the pig spirit king was about to leave, the officer in charge of the coming of age ceremony quickly chased after him and said, King. Are you watching the coming of age ceremony? Ah, you just have to take care of it. Just tell me the name of Wu Zhuangyuan at the end. The piglin king waved his hand in disgust. The coming of age ceremony was held once a year, so there was nothing unusual about it. Ji Shin is a big opportunity. If the pig spirit family misses it, they don't know when they will be able to succeed next time. Soon after, Ji Shin returned to the pig spirit king's pig nest. Just tell me your request. As long as it's not too much, I will try my best to satisfy it. Before the conversation even started, the pig spirit king took the initiative to hand over the power to make demands to Ji Shin, which showed his sincerity. Ji Shin smiled and said, We are so familiar with each other, so let's not beat around the bush. If both requirements are met, I can provide the pig spirit clan with full attribute equipment. Of course, if you want a customized version, just give me a request and I can make it too. The full attribute equipment here naturally refers to the fully enchanted equipment. There is no cooling time for enchantment, and the only limitation is the hunger value. But with the blessing of golden carrot, this is not a problem at all. Okay, you say it. The pig spirit king nodded in agreement. Ji Shin opened his palm, and several obsidian stones were spinning in his hand. It is worth mentioning that there was also an enchanted purple color on it. First, I need to build a magma production line in hell to continuously produce obsidian for me. The pig spirit king frowned, thinking about something in his mind, and did not reply immediately. As far as I know, there are countless magma seas in the lower world. Collecting magma is not difficult for the piglins. Ji Shin was a little surprised. He didn't expect the pig spirit king to hesitate. The piglin king came back to his senses and said with a smile, that's not what I meant. Collecting magma couldn't be easier for us piglins. It's just that water cannot be placed in the lower realm. Without water, mass production of obsidian is impossible for us. Furthermore, we piglins cannot enter the upper world for a long time, so we cannot provide you with labor in the upper world. This idea you proposed makes me very embarrassed. Labor force, Ji Shin chuckled, are you telling me that there is a lack of labor among the thousands of stone puppets in the base? The pig spirit king didn't understand Ji Shin's puppet technique. He only knew that Ji Shin could summon multiple puppets, but what he didn't know was that there was no upper limit to many. So when he heard about the construction of a magma production line, his first reaction was that there was a shortage of labor and it was impossible to mass produce obsidian. Ji Shin cleared his throat and added again, I may not have expressed it clearly. You just need to put the collected magma in the minecart and transport it to the gate of hell. As for making the obsidian, just leave it to me. Okay, you guys are so interesting, ha ha ha. The pig spirit king wiped away his depression. When the other party said this, the difficulty of this job was reduced by 90%. There are still many projects that the piglin clan and I will collaborate on in the future, so I should give you some discounts. After all, senior values me highly, and I can't let you suffer, senior. Ji Shin said politely, and the first request was successfully fulfilled. For Ji Shin, obsidian is not only the raw material for making puppets, but also a weapon that he can control at will. Although he can't produce obsidian puppets yet, it's always good to prepare in advance. Also, half of the time of the sudden change is about to pass. Fifty days later, zombies will have the ability to destroy stones, and the walls of the base must be replaced with obsidian as soon as possible. Okay, my second request is also very simple, that is to find the ancient ruins of the lower world for me and mark their coordinates. After the ancient remains are fired, netherite fragments will be obtained. Netherite ingots can be crafted from netherite fragments and gold ingots in the workbench. Diamonds were rare, and netherite ingots could only be rarer than diamonds. Without preparation in advance, Ji Shin might not even be able to get a netherite puppet when he reached level 30. Ji Shin was very thoughtful. 
He didn't have a diamond pickaxe now, and neither did the piglin, so it was unrealistic to ask the piglin to collect it for him. His request was very simple. All he had to do when he found an ancient wreckage was mark the location, and he would gather a certain amount to collect it himself. Ha ha ha, that's easy to say. Don't mark the location, I'll help you dig it myself. The pig spirit king smiled heartily, and the demigod's fist was the best collection tool in the world. No matter how hard the netherite is, it can't stop his continuous attacks. I still remember vividly the image of the piglin king almost hammering the obsidian into a drop with his bare hands. Moreover, the piglin king at that time did not exert all his strength. Then thank you, senior. Ji Shin was overjoyed. It would be better if the other party was willing to help, so he could save himself the trouble. Comma. The two talked in detail for another hour, and all the details of this cooperation were almost perfected. Senior, I won't bother you junior. Someone will be here to talk to you about laying the rails after a while. Ji Shin reached out and asked to resign again. This time, the Piglin King did not hold back too much. He waved his hand and asked one of his men to move a box and said. There are brewing stands and nether warts inside. I prepared them for you in advance. I guess you players will definitely use them. Ji Shin suddenly realized that he had planned to develop his own medicine refining system as early as in the secret realm of Shuisheng Kingdom. But too many things happened later, and this matter was naturally forgotten. He reached out and opened the box, and there were ten brewing stands, ten sets of hell warts, and ten sets of flaming rods lying inside. Thank you, senior, your gift was so timely. I'm very grateful. It's a simple task, but you guys are still polite to me. If you don't have enough flame powder and hell wart in the later stage, just ask and I'll find someone to help you replenish them. The Piglin King is not stingy, these things are really just a matter of words to him. The Crimson Forest is two kilometers away. Wu Nian, we originally just wanted to kill a few pig spirits in exchange for military merit, but we didn't expect to meet you here. Captain Wither shook the stone sword in his hand, his eyes full of excitement. Wu Nian didn't reply. He gritted his teeth and kept dodging the attacks around him. After he separated from Wither Shao Kei, he did not stay for a moment, trying his best to hide his figure and preparing to sneak back into the Crimson Forest. But as luck would have it, he happened to bump into a team of Wither spies on his way back. They hide in the Piglins' territory, waiting for opportunities to kill some lone Piglins in exchange for military exploits. Wu Nian's luck was incredible, he just happened to bump into such a big place. Captain Wither and a co-captain unleash their own realms. Level 16 and Level 14. Wu Nian was secretly surprised. With his current strength, it was already his limit to deal with these two withered skeletons at once, not to mention there were other skeleton soldiers around. I advise you to restrain yourself. This is the pig spirit's territory. Wu Nian backed away slowly, stalling for time. Captain Wither disagreed, waved his hand to signal the skeletons around him to block the opponent's retreat, and replied. You don't have to worry about it now. Let's make a quick decision and catch you back. This risk is still worth taking. Such things as war merit are extremely important whether in the pig spirit clan or the wither clan. What the wither spy team does is lick blood from the tip of a knife. A team of ten people dared to go deep into the territory of the piglin clan and do a job of breaking people into pieces. How could they be afraid of such a warning? I didn't expect that you would still have a chance to survive after receiving a blow from the king. Captain Wither chuckled, then changed his tone and said, If we take you back, how much do you think the king will reward us for our military exploits? The deputy captain on the side was very excited when he heard this, We are lucky this time. Brothers, come together, the opportunity to get promoted and make a fortune is right in front of you. Following the vice captain's order, the skeleton soldiers swarmed forward, the stone swords in their hands frantically waving towards Wu Nian. Wu Nian's body armor appeared, and he raised his shield to resist. The way back is blocked, and there is only one way to break the situation, and that is to delay. As long as time is delayed long enough, whether it is Ji Shin or the piglins around him, once one party discovers the battle here, he can be rescued. While thinking, Wu Nian's shield had already been cracked. He didn't hesitate any longer, taking advantage of the gap between the opponent's attacks, he swung his iron sword and picked off the head of a skeleton soldier on the spot. These soldiers have not reached level 10. 
As long as he finds an opportunity, he will almost always kill them with one sword. When the surrounding Wither soldiers saw their teammates being killed, there was no fear in their eyes, but they kept moving forward, catching Wu Yen off guard, and he was also stunned for a moment. Captain Wither was not in a hurry to take action, but was waiting on the sidelines, looking for opportunities. He knew exactly what Wu Yen was capable of, and it was very strange that his natural abilities were withered and illusory. As long as it is used properly, some physical damage cannot harm it at all. And now the reason why Wu Yen is still using his shield to resist is because he is afraid of Captain Wither who is waiting for an opportunity to make a move. Both sides knew very well that if Wu Yen used Wither Illusion, the gap in his abilities would be when Captain Wither took action. And a level 16 Wither will only have a deadly killing move. The stone sword cut through the air and hit Wu Yen's iron armor hard. Wu Yen was in pain, he held the stone sword with his backhand and activated the withering infection. The thick black smoke quickly spread up, wrapping up the little wither soldier behind him, constantly eroding the opponent's wither origin. Now, Lieutenant Wither saw an opportunity and stabbed Wu Yen's shield with the stone sword in his hand. Click, the shield shattered, the stone sword continued to gain momentum, and its target was Wu Yen's neck. At the critical moment, the withering illusion is activated. Wu Yen's whole body began to flicker rhythmically, and the stone sword passed through his body without hurting him at all. You want my life, are you worthy? Wu Yen was forced to a dead end, and his face became ferocious. He gathered the power of Wither in his hand, and pressed his backhand directly on the face of Deputy Captain Wither. Ah, save me, Captain, save me. The screams of Vice Captain Wither rang out. Because his level was slightly higher, he did not die from Wu Yen's blow. Instantly, when Wu Yen withered and the illusion ended, he only felt a huge force coming from his right temple. Immediately afterwards, he was knocked upside down and flew away. After rolling on the ground for several weeks, he smashed more than a dozen pieces of hell rock before he could stop. Lieutenant, are you okay? With a smile on his face, Captain Withered stretched out his hand to pull up Deputy Wither who was at the bottom. Ahem, cough, cough, a few bones in my neck are broken, I can't die. Vice Captain Wither's eyes were fierce. If his realm hadn't been there to support him, Wu Yen's blow just now would have been enough to kill him. This Wu Yen is really a tough guy. It was not unreasonable for Wang to attach great importance to him in the first place. Wu Yen's current level is only at level 13, and with one full blow, he almost killed the level 14 withering deputy. Don't worry. The opponent just took that punch from me, and he only has half a life left. Captain Wither comforted him. On the other side, the world was spinning without thought, and he was horrified as he looked at the withering skeletons that were approaching. No, I can't die yet, stand up, stand up quickly. Wu Yen forced himself to stand up, but lay down again within two seconds. Captain Wither's blow hit him right in the temple. If it weren't for the protection of the armor, his entire head might have been blown off. Not only that, Captain Wither also injected his own Wither effect into Wu Yen's body with that blow. Although Wu Yen also has the power of withering in his body, it does not come from the same source and will still be eroded. When Captain Withered saw the other party fainting, he did not rush to take action. Instead, he winked at the two soldiers beside him and asked them to check whether the other party was pretending to be dead. The two Wither soldiers looked at each other, and both saw the fear in their eyes. That was a blow that almost killed the deputy team's existence. Even if he was seriously injured, it was not something that a small soldier like them could afford. However, the official level was so overwhelming that they had no choice but to go up and check it out. Before the soldiers could get closer, Wu Yen, who was lying on the ground, began to burn up his realm. The withering infection was activated to the extreme, and extremely rich black smoke rose into the sky. On the other side, Ji Xin just came out of the pig spirit king's palace. Suddenly, he seemed to feel something. He suddenly turned his head and looked outside the crimson forest, shouting in his heart that it was not good. The obsidian puppet rose from the ground, using both hands to throw Ji Xin directly into the air. With the blessing of the two enchantments of knockback and impact, he flew directly up and quickly rushed towards the place where Wu Yan released his breath. Boom. A figure fell from the sky and crushed an entire layer of hell rock with his feet. The broken hell rock turned into fallen objects and floated quietly on the ground. 
Ji Shin raised his eyes and saw that the surrounding blocks were shaking, and a faint white light overflowed from his eyes. There were still signs of fighting around, but the people had disappeared. This place is only two kilometers away from the edge of the Crimson Forest, but it is still some distance away from the Piglin King's palace. At that time, Wu Yen's withering infection only flickered for less than a second, and Ji Shin didn't feel it very carefully. Disaster brings power, come out. Ji Shin shouted sternly, calling out the heart pan puppet from the shadow. A stone puppet with the head of Calamity Xinquan crawled out of the shadows and knelt on one knee to express submission. After Ji Shin looked around again to no avail, he said coldly, Locate it, can you do it? There was a little confusion in Calamity Xinquan's eyes, and then he slowly shook his head. Xinpan can only locate places that have been visited before or have clear goals. Although Wu Yen's withered and infected aura just now was strong, it only existed for a moment before it was interrupted, leaving no time for the disaster to be positioned. Wither Skeleton Ji Shin reached out and picked up a piece of coal and a bone dropped by the withered skeleton from the ground. His eyes narrowed and his fists made a crunching sound. Great, you successfully caught my attention. If Wu Yen dies, I don't mind destroying you. He was very satisfied with Wu Yen, his younger brother. Not only was he serious and reliable in his work, he was also a helpful helper sometimes. Now that Wu Yen's life and death are uncertain, as the boss, he would be derelict in his duty if he didn't say anything. Of course, he is not the kind of person who goes to a meeting alone when he gets angry. The Wither Clan has a demigod called the Wither King sitting in charge. No matter how strong he is, he will not be so conceited as to compete with a demigod. Ji Shin waved his hand to control the calamity power to tear a crack in the air, and the other end of the crack led directly to the Pig Spirit King's palace. In order to rescue Wu Yen, we must finally rely on the help of the Pig Spirit Clan. At this time, the Pig Spirit King, who had just sent Ji Shin away, was sitting on the throne, thinking about something, and murmured. Old thief wither, just wait, I have taken the position of Lord of the Lower Realm. Ouch, nest grass, bold. How dare you break into my king's palace without permission? I think you are tired of living. The pig spirit king was startled by a space crack in front of him. After reacting, he became furious on the spot, released his breath, and punched it. Senior, show mercy, it's me. As soon as Ji Shin walked into the space crack, a big fist came towards him. He was so shocked that he quickly reported his home to prevent accidental injury. After hearing the familiar voice, the pig spirit king stopped his hand in time and said with a little helplessness in his eyes. Space jump, the ability of the disaster clan. Brother Ji Shin, you have a lot of abilities, but you can't make jokes like this randomly. The biggest taboo of our pig spirit clan is breaking into other people's houses without permission. You are the only one here. If General Barbarian dares to do this, I will beat him until he is swollen. The pig spirit king was a little concerned about Ji Shin breaking into his palace without permission. The stone body of the disaster exploded, turned into powder, and dissipated into the invisible. Ji Shin put away the head of disaster Xinquan, bowed and apologized, and said again, This junior didn't think well, but the matter was urgent. I have offended many people, and I hope you can forgive me. The pig spirit king let out a long sigh, sat back on the throne, and said in a leisurely voice, I just felt a very strong aura of withering. If I guessed correctly, it should have been released by Wu Yen. Ji Shin nodded, with a hint of anger in his voice, exactly. Surprise gradually appeared in the pig spirit king's eyes. He had never seen Ji Shin so angry before. Don't worry, tell me what happened in detail. If it's useful, you can come to our pig spirit family's place and speak up. The pig spirit king had somewhat guessed something in his mind, but he couldn't say it clearly. Ji Shin took a deep breath, tried hard to suppress the anger in his heart, and spoke. Senior, the two conditions of the deal I just made with the Piglin clan are invalid. I can strengthen the equipment for you Piglin clan for free. The pig spirit king's expression didn't change much, he waved his hand and replied. Your two conditions are not difficult. There is no need to abolish them. If you want to add conditions, just add them. The pig spirit king had said so, and Ji Shin was no longer polite. The power of creation in his body began to boil unconsciously, and the white light in his eyes was dazzling, and he said viciously. 
This junior wants to use the power of the pig spirit clan to destroy the wither clan. Destroyed the withered skeleton clan. This sentence seemed to reach the heart of the pig spirit king, and the surprise on his face disappeared, and he looked up to the sky and laughed. It's such a small thing to destroy the withering clan. I thought it was something important. The piglin king took a deep breath and continued. I've long disliked that old man, but I have no choice. We are both in the realm of demigods, and neither of us can compete with one another. Now with your help, the decline of the withering clan begins today. As the pig spirit king was talking, the barbarian general appeared outside the palace at some point. He knelt down on one knee and said loudly, King, I have something important to report. The piglin king's eyes flashed. Some time ago, he sent the barbarian general to the border of the crimson forest and stationed it for a period of time. Most of the things I want to report now are related to the war between the wither clan. Brother Ji Shin, isn't what you expected coming? General, please come in quickly. The barbarian general walked in with tiger strides. When he saw Ji Shin present, he was slightly surprised. Although he was surprised, he did not open his mouth to drive him away. The game where he blocked the goal changed his impression of Ji Shin a lot. I've seen the barbarian general. Ji Shin said as a courtesy. The barbarian general nodded and said nothing more. Then he looked at the pig spirit king on the throne and hesitated to speak. Say it, it's okay, we are all our own people. The pig spirit king signaled that the other party did not need to be shy. After receiving the signal, the barbarian general reported loudly. There are a large number of withers gathering in the east and south of the Crimson Forest. I guess that the wither king wants to launch a large-scale fighting battle. Yes, the pig spirit king nodded, his expression becoming serious. This news was not much different from what he had guessed. Piglins and wither have been at odds for thousands of years, and it is common for them to assassinate each other. Large-scale fighting battles have occurred several times in the past century. Both sides were evenly matched and neither side gained any benefits. Calculating time, the Wither King's arm should have grown back. If he doesn't come back with revenge, this doesn't seem like his character. The Pig Spirit King turned to Ji Shin and said, Time is a bit rushed. Brother Ji Shin, are you looking at the equipment? No problem, I'm working overtime to catch up. Senior, I still hope you can speed up the progress of the war as much as possible. It's been dragging on for a long time. I'm worried that Wu Yen won't be able to wait. Ji Xin responded with his hands raised. This battle came just as he wanted. Anyone from the Withering Clan who dared to touch him would have their ribs broken. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.